Hey everybody, how are you today? Haven't been on in a few days, so I thought I would just come on and say hello and do a quick video. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Man, I have gotten so many new subscribers in the past two months. It's amazing. It's like over 30. So thank you so much for everybody uh, subscribing to my channel. I hope you all had a great weekend. Mine was very quiet. I was just resting a lot and um just not feel like not feeling like doing much these past couple of days so um, i've just been laying low and um i'm having a thyroid biopsy tomorrow so that's been on my mind of course and um so today i did get a few little things in the mail i finally got those brown boots that i was so excited about i was so excited about but they were too tight on me, and the heel was a little bit too high for me, just a little bit too uncomfortable. So I'm going to send those back. Those were try before you buy, so I didn't have to pay for those. I've noticed that when I ordered them, they were $32.99, and now they're up to $69.99. So I'm like, okay, those are going back, because if I exchanged them, I'd have to pay $70, and I wasn't going to do that. So what I'm going to do is... um Remember, I had gotten these black boots a couple weeks ago, and they fit so comfortably. So what I'm doing is I'm going to get the same color in suede of this boot rather than that boot. And the color that it's going to be is going to be very similar to these boots that I have. These are my winter boots. Yeah, and they're kind of beat up because <laughs> I've been in the snow and everything with them. But they're going to be this kind of uh, color. So, because um, I have a plan. Um, if I don't gain too much weight and I can still fit into my dresses in April, I have a pretty, pretty patched brown dress that I have. And it's so pretty. And brown boots will go so nice with it. So, I'm hoping that I don't gain too much weight. Um Trying not to, <laughs> but you know how that goes sometimes. Anyhow, yeah, so um, that's my plan. Um, my Boston trip is on, so I'm excited. It's going to be in April. We're going to go see Louis Capaldi in concert. I'm going to see my sister after, oh my gosh, how long has it been? 2004, 2005 was the last time I talked to her, and you know, she... She went through a marriage and all kinds of life changes in her life, and um, we just finally got back in touch. And it's amazing. She's not that far from me. She's, she's down in the Boston area and up here in Vermont. So it's going to be nice to see her, and I'm going to be able to get to stay with her. So I'm looking forward to that, and I get to meet my friends, Josh and Anna, who I love so, so much. That's going to be fun. We all... Not all, but Anna and I love Louis Capaldi. We do sing his songs when we do karaoke, so it's really going to be fun. And um, I pre-ordered his album, which comes out in May. I ordered a copy for me. I ordered a copy for Anna. So um, we're just, uh, I even changed the ringtone on my phone. Sorry, Keith. <laughs> I finally changed my ringtone to Louis's new song, Pointless. And uh, I love that song. So, um, yeah. You know me, I love my music. <laughs> Shimmer, um, we did two two sing streams this weekend, actually. Saturday night, we did one. Um, and we all sang for like three and a half hours, close to four hours. We had a lot of fun on Saturday night. Last night was the Elvis birthday bash that we had. And unfortunately, last night, my swelling was there and my throat was hurting. So I could only sing for about two hours, and then I just ha I had to go to bed because I didn't feel good. And then I woke up this morning, and I said, they were on there for four and a half hours. <laughs> so that's good. I'm, uh, too bad I couldn't have been a part of it. I just didn't feel good last night. So so this just comes and goes. I don't always have the swollen gland right there. You know, sometimes I'm fine for days, and then sometimes it'll just pop up and my throat will hurt and that's why I initially went to the doctor because this has been going on for months you know with the swollen gland and the sore throats and then she finally ordered the neck ultrasound and that's when they found this 1.4 1. 1. 
centimeter nodule in there. I have several, and they say that thyroid nodules are very common, but this one is over one centimeter, so that's usually not a good sign when they're, if they're over one, it's very suspicious for cancer. So that's why I have to have a biopsy tomorrow of it. And I'm not looking forward to it um, because if I'm in pain already, it's not supposed to hurt. But, you know, when you're already in pain, I don't know how it's going to work out. But we'll see what happens. And then hopefully, if that's just, you know, a benign nodule, we're going to have to figure out why this keeps happening because it's very uncomfortable and very painful. And um, I don't know. Anywho, that's that. Um, over on my Facebook page, I was talking about my buddy, Adam McIntyre. He has a, a beautiful uh, orange ginger cat named Tyler who, um, who's who been sick for a couple of days. And I've asked people to pray for him. Um, he seems to be doing a little better. But... Um, it's kind of up in the air because he has a cyst in in a very bad area and um it's hard for him to go to the bathroom and we're we it's heartbreaking because um I went through a lot with Vivi you know Vivi got sick so suddenly and um I don't know. It was just all of a sudden he just didn't have the energy anymore that he used to have. And then one day his breathing was labored and I took him to the vet and uh, I didn't have any money for blood work or anything. Um, she just sent him home with me and said, um, just keep an eye on him. And then I had to bring him back a week later. And uh, the following week, he just passed away and it was heartbreaking it was so hard to watch somebody else go through that I just hope to God that Tyler makes it because I know what it feels like you know Vivi was my first cat too actually when I finally came out here all by myself I picked him up the day that I left and we took the 12 hour trek up here to Vermont and um he was an outside cat, and um, I keep thinking maybe he got into something outside. I don't know. But anyhow, let's play for Tyler and hope that he um, he's better by Friday and that Adam doesn't have to make a heartbreaking decision. So, anyhow, yeah, I'm, I'm, I love animals. You know, I've had animals my entire life. Um, I've had cats my entire life. And dogs, because my husband loved dogs, and um, I did too. But cats have always been such special to me. So, anyhow, yeah. And I also got something in the mail from Vintage Hippie is a channel that um, Michelle Noel is part of, and um, we were celebrating her birthday a few months ago, and um, I had won a couple of, you know couple of raffle uh prizes and um right before christmas i had gotten these two cute little bit decorations that chris had made and then this was the second one that i got and it, she said it was popcorn right so i get this cute little cosmetic bag right here and in it was i'm eating the peanuts right now there was a pack of peanuts and some microwave popcorn and this coffee sound, I don't know, is it coffee or tea? No, it's coffee. And it sounds so good. It's chocolate, vanilla, caramel, and nuts. I can't wait to try it. It sounds so good. Thank you, Chris. Uh, very, very excited for that little thing today. And I just got some hearing aids for my batteries. Just a few things today from Amazon. So, um, yeah, Winnie's doing okay. Uh, I need to groom her today. I haven't groomed her since yesterday. So, um, yeah, I just get emotional when it comes to cats, you know, and animals. Anyhow, um, it's, God, it's 7.20, but it feels like 10.20. So I'm going to take some Tylenol PM and go to bed.
And um, I hope everyone's doing well. Thank you, everyone who has subscribed to my channel in the past 30 days. It has been amazing. I've had like 30 new subscribers, and I really, really appreciate you all so much. And um, once I'm feeling better, I'll try to do a little bit more content. So everybody take care, and I'll see you next time. And continue to play for Adam and Tyler, please. Thank you.